So we're still on question two, and now we're looking at section B. You've done section A, you've done that beautifully, I'm absolutely sure, okay? We're going to do the same thing, essentially, from section B, okay? But this time, slightly different, because we're asked to look at something different, okay? So this time we're looking at the rain, the rain and the wind in paragraph seven, okay? So what you're now going to need to do is the same skills, okay? Go to paragraph seven, you're looking for descriptions, words or phrases for the rain and the wind, okay? You're going to have two minutes, pause me now and go and do that. Okay, great, I'm glad that you've done that. Alright, so now you've got your words and phrases, you're happy with those. And again, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this, you do the same thing. Okay, so you've got the quotation, and then you've got your following sentence that explains it in a bit of detail. Okay, so you're going to pause the video again, this time for eight minutes. I'll see you in eight minutes. Okay, back to the text then. So question three. This is always, always a summary question. Now, actually, what they've done here is something quite nice, but also quite sneaky. They've saved the best last, uh, question for last, which is very nice of them. But they've also been a bit sneaky because it's very, very easy for you to get this one slightly wrong in terms of your timings. Make sure that you have got a good 50 minutes to answer this question. Because although it is quite simple, you have to read two passages of text and you still have to have the time to transfer that information into your own words. Okay? So this is very, very important that you make sure you keep 50 minutes for this task. Okay? Right, so question three then on your in your pack says this summarize. The facts about the sea and its amazing features according to passage B. What the fisherman enjoys about living in such a desolate place according to passage A. Okay? Before we go any further, this is what you're going to do next. Okay? So go to the top of passage B and at the top of the paper write down facts about the sea and its amazing features. Okay? So just go and do that now quickly. Okay, and then do the same for passage A. Okay, so this time we're looking at what the fisherman enjoys about living in such a desolate place according to passage A. So go to passage A and at the top write what the fisherman enjoys about living in such a desolate place. Okay, the reason we're doing this is so that as you're reading through, you can remind.